Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how to self-host GitHub Readme Streak Stats. Once you go to the GitHub Readme Streak Stats GitHub repository, you'll see a button to deploy to Heroku or deploy to Vercel. Heroku costs five to seven dollars per month, whereas Vercel is completely free. In this video I'm going to show you how to deploy to Vercel. You can find the blue button here or in the deploying on your own section further down in the readme and you'll also find these steps here. You can start by clicking on the deploy to Vercel button, open it in a new tab, and you'll need to sign in if you're not already signed in. If you have a GitHub account, you can log in with GitHub. So you can create a GitHub repository So you can create a GitHub repository, you can give it any name you'd like. The default name is GitHub Readme Streak Stats. And this will create a repository that you'll be able to find on your account and modify. So click Create. Now you'll see that the next step is to fill in a personal access token. There's a link here, Learn More, which will take you to this page. You can give it any name you'd like. You can set the expiration to be no expiration if you don't want to keep changing it. And you don't need any of these scopes. If you want to include private repositories in your stats, you can give it the repo scope, and that will allow you to view private repositories. If you don't need that, you, you can leave this unchecked. Click Generate Token, copy it, and paste in the field for your token. Then click Deploy, and wait up to a couple minutes. Once it's finished building, you'll see the congratulations page. And if you click on the screenshot here, it'll open up in a new tab your deployment of GitHub Readme Street Stats. So you can fill in your username here, select what theme you like. Once you're ready, you can copy the markdown to your clipboard. And you'll notice that the URL here is not streakstats.demolab.com, but instead, is your custom URL. In my case, the URL it generated was GitHub Readme Streak Stats Rust .app. Your URL will be different. Now to add to my GitHub profile, I'll first need to have a repository that is my profile page. And to do that, you'd need a repository with the same name as your username. So this is uh, the Denver Coder 1 repository for the account Denver Coder 1 that means it's in a profile readme. And I can edit this and place the image wherever, wherever I want. So if I want to put it over here, I can paste the markdown from the demo site into my readme. And if I preview this, you'll see it appears over here. Now this is a self-deployment, which will lead to better uptime since it's using your own personal access token and keeping on Vercel is completely free. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. You can find the link on my profile page or in the description. Bye.